Mr. Cleland here from Cleland Maths. Today we're going to be extending our knowledge of cuboids and looking at the volume of a triangular base prism. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to this page and also remember to turn on notifications by clicking the bell. If this video is helpful to you, give it a little thumbs up. Let's get straight into a video with volumes of triangular prisms. So today we're going to be looking at the volume of a triangular base prism. So instead of it being like a cuboid where the cross section is a rectangle, this time with a triangular base prism, the cross section is just a triangle, okay? But it's exactly the same method. So yesterday we learned that to look at the volume of any prism, we do the area of the cross section, A, times the vertical height, H. So on this picture of a prism here, which is triangular, that's my vertical height, and then there's my cross section, so I need the area of the triangle. Now, a triangle is like to a half a rectangle, okay? If you take a two triangles, it can make one whole rectangle. So a bit of a vision here, the area of a triangle is half the base times the height, okay? And by height, I don't mean this height, I mean the height of the triangle. And it's easy to see with an example. Okay. And it says calculate the volume of this triangular based prism. So like yesterday, step one is still the same. I identify my cross section. So step one, there's my cross section. It's a triangle. It's four centimetres on the base. And it's height of the triangle is seven centimetres. And just a reminder, the area of a triangle is a half the base. That's four times the height, that's seven. Four times seven is 28, half of that gives me 14 centimetres squared. So I've worked out the area of the shape, which happens to be a triangle this time. Step two is exactly the same as it was yesterday as well. Volume is always area times vertical height. So I need to do 14 times 10, because there's my height h, 140 centimetres cube. Always cubic units for volume. And don't be tempted to half it twice. If you've already halved it for the area, don't make the mistake that a lot of people make, which is thinking, oh, it's something to do with half, so I need to half the final answer when I do the volume. You half when you're doing the area, you don't half when you then go to calculate the volume. Okay? Example mm -hmm. 2 says calculate the volume of this prism. So it's not even told me it's a triangle based prism. It's saying this prism. But I know that I always need to identify my cross section. And there it is here. So I've now traced a triangle. So I draw a triangle. It's a right angle triangle. I need to find the dimensions. So if one's already on it. I've got my eight centimetres here. I also need the base. So I need to look to see what other side's the same. At the back, it's six. So it's eight centimetres by six centimetres. We all know by now that area of a triangle is a half, the base, which is six, times the height, which is eight. So it's a half of six times eight, which is 24 centimetres squared. And then just like the previous example, the volume is always the area times the vertical height. So I need to identify this vertical height going all the way through the shape. H is 10, so it's 24 times 10, which is 240 centimetres cubed. Thank you very much for watching that. Mr. Cleland here from Cleland Maths. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and also Check the links in the description for extra practice on any of these topics that we've just covered. Thank you very much for watching.